Welcome to watch DJI Agriculture Phantom 4 RTK Mapping Tutorial. In this tutorial, we use DJI MG 1P RTK with P4R and DJI Terra to carry out mapping, reconstruction and planning, and perform operations over large area field. Real-time mapping and operation. Open DJI Terra on PC, connect to the internet, and log in. The USB-C cable to connect the computer and P4R remote controller. Then turn on the remote controller and P4R aircraft. To check out network connection, tap the settings icon at upper left of the main screen of the remote controller and select network diagnostics. Mount DRTK2 mobile station on a tripod and use it as a mobile base station. Press and hold the power button in the middle to turn on. Press and hold the right operating mode button for 3 seconds to change mode and set it to green blank once. Tap plan on main screen of the remote controller and choose 2D photogrammetry. Then tap ellipses in the upper right corner, select RTK, enable RTK function and select DRTK2 mobile station in the RTK service type. Scroll down the screen, select linking. Then single press the linking button on the left side of the DRTK2 mobile station and the linking indicator will blink red and green alternately. Wait a few seconds and the linking is successful. After linking, a reminder will pop up on the remote control. The remote control needs to be realigned with the aircraft. Tap linking and trigger the link button on side of the P4R. In DJI Terra, click New Task, select Mapping and enter the task name. Click on the map to add waypoints. In basic settings, enable real-time 2D mapping and set parameters. Mission altitude is 100 meters by default and should not be less than 50 meters. The speed can be set to the maximum. In advanced settings, you can keep the default settings. In camera settings, select the camera model. Due to the high mapping precision of P4R, it is recommended to disable undistortion. After completing the setting, Click Start and the aircraft will fly along the preset flight path to perform mapping and reconstruction. If the shooting area is large and the battery is running low, you can stop the mission and the aircraft will begin RTH. After replacing the battery, click Resume from Breakpoint in the screen and the aircraft will continue the mission from the recorded breakpoint. After real-time 2D mapping is completed, click Reconstruction. Click Agricultural Application and select Field. Click Boundary and click desired positions on the map to add edge points for the field. Then click Polygon Obstacle and click, click the left mouse button on the map to add edge points for the obstacle. Or click Round Obstacle to create a round obstacle. Drag its center to relocate it and drag its edge points to determine size. Click Calibration Point to add calibration points in open areas with easily recognizable signs. You can add several calibration points. Upon completion, insert micro SD card to the PC. Click the export icon at the top right to save the mission to the micro SD card. Turn on MG1P RTK and the remote controller. Take out the micro SD card from the computer and insert it to the micro SD card slot of the remote controller. Then the operation list in the micro SD card will automatically pop up. Select the flight route you need. Click Import to add it to current field information in the remote controller. On the main screen of MG1P RTK remote controller app, tap Execute Operation. Tap Ellipses in the upper right. Enable RTK function in RTK and select DRTK2 mobile station. Scroll down the screen, select Linking, then single press the linking button on the left side of the DRTK2 mobile station to link the remote controller with DRTK2 mobile station. After linking, a reminder will pop up on the remote controller, relink required between RC and aircraft or handheld RTK. Tap Linking and trigger the link button on rear of the MG1P RTK and wait a few seconds for completion. According to operation steps, invoke the task. After rectifying offset and adjusting flight parameters, slide the slider to start operation. 
reconstruction, and operation. Mount DRTK2 mobile station on a tripod and set it as a mobile base station. Press and hold the power button in the middle to turn on. Press and hold the right operating mode button for three seconds to change mode. And set it to green blink once. Then turn on the remote controller and P4R aircraft. Tap plan on main screen of the remote controller and choose 2D photogrammetry. Then tap ellipses in the upper right corner. Select RTK, enable RTK function, and select DRTK2 mobile station in the service type. Scroll down the screen, select linking, then single press the linking button on the left side of the DRTK2 mobile station and the linking indicator will blink red and green alternately. Wait a few seconds and the linking is successful. Based on the map shown on the app, tap to add waypoints on the map, plan flight area, and set parameters such as altitude and speed. Tap Save, name the operation and tap OK. Tap Invoke in the lower right corner and tap Start and OK. Slide right to take off and start the operation. If the shooting area is large and the battery is running low, you can stop the mission and the aircraft will begin RTH. After replacing the battery, invoke the uncompleted mission and the aircraft will continue the mission from the recorded breakpoint. After the mapping mission is completed, take out micro SD card from P4R and insert into the computer to export images. Open DJI Terra, click New Task, select Mapping and enter the mission name. Then click Reconstruction, click Plus to add images just taken. Wait for image transmission to be completed and select 2D map as the reconstruction type. Select the desired mapping scene, and here it is set to fill. Set resolution to high, then click start reconstruction and wait for completion. After reconstruction is completed, click agricultural application, select fill, select boundary, and click desired positions on the map to add edge points for the fill. Then click Polygon Obstacle and click on the map to add edge points for the obstacle. Or click Round Obstacle to create a round obstacle and drag its edge points to determine size. Click Calibration Point to add calibration points in open area with easily recognizable signs. You can add several calibration points. Upon completion, insert micro SD card to the PC. Click the export icon at the top right to save the mission in the micro SD card. Turn on MG1PRTK and the remote controller. Take out the micro SD card from the computer and insert it to the micro SD card slot of the remote controller. Then the operation list in the micro SD card will automatically pop up. Select the flight route you need, click import to add it to current field information in the remote controller. On the main screen of MG1P RTK Remote Controller app, tap Execute Operation. Tap Ellipses in the upper right. Enable RTK function in RTK settings and select DRTK2 Mobile Station. Scroll down the screen, select Linking, then single press the linking button on the left side of the DRTK2 Mobile Station to link the remote controller with DRTK2 Mobile Station. After linking, a reminder will pop up on the remote controller. Relink required between RC and aircraft or handheld RTK. Tap linking and trigger the link button on the rear of the MG1P RTK and wait a few seconds for completion. According to operation steps, invoke the task. After rectifying offset and adjusting flight parameters, Slide the slider to start operation.